So let's see how well the internal ballistic calculator update for the Leap series works. So at this point we have already purchased the upgrade from the Rix app store. So first we're going to connect to the scope and then under the advanced features we're going to go to the ballistics. So click the profile that you are using. I'm using zeroing profile B and now we're going to insert our ballistic coefficient. Not all boxes have the ballistic coefficient on it, but you can go right to the website and pull it off of it. I went to the Hornady website to pull off what my G1 ballistic coefficient was. Make sure we're using the correct drag model, G1 or G7. We're going to do our bullet weight. I'm using factory ammo, Hornady Varmint Express, and then our speed. I checked the speed on a lab radar. Next will be the center of your bore to center of the scope, minus two inches, and then the zeroing range. And then at the bottom, we will do our outdoor conditions. I zeroed the rifle at 92 degrees. I am at sea level, barometric pressure, and then we'll put in our relative humidity. I pulled all this information out of my Kestrel. Once that is done, we're gonna hit send to device, and it's there. So now let's go give it a try. So we're gonna try the new Ricks ballistic calculator. Uh, I'm running the Rix L3 and a 6.5 Creedmoor made by Quarterman Arms and running Varmint Express factory ammo. I got two targets set down here. Both of them have hit indicators and we're going to try ranging one, engage it, and then range the second one and engage it and just see how it works. And I'm also going to record this to the scope and overlay it up there and so you can probably see both of them. It is very humid out here. I'm shooting across a bean field right now. But uh, clarity is still pretty good, and I can make out both targets. So we're going to gauge the closest one. And then we'll go for the far one. So let's range it. Impact. And let's go over to our second one. And range it. 